I did a video recently on the important topics to take note of in physics, and many students have been asking me, what about the other yes, subjects? Anomalous and expansion. Please take note. Anomalous is a very, very, very common question. Look, if you put me jam and everything, they ask me and they me and jam. Yes, when I go to put something, they ask me. So we think of the anomalous expansion, maximum density, maximum volume. So today, I will be showing you the important topics to take note of in chemistry. And also, this will be a series. We'll do other science subjects as we progress. But if you are new here, this is Dr. Jeremiah, a medicine and surgery student of the prestigious University of Ibadan. So let's quickly get started with this video right away. Today, the first topic we'll be looking at is separation technique. Please take note of the different methods and principles that these different separation techniques work on. Yeah, very important. So Jan will ask you, what does centrifugation work on? Um, where is it applied and all that? So just please take note of these simple things. Where does saving, uh, saving apply in mining and all that? Just take note of the different applications. Then the next topic is atomic structure. Please take note of the different um, components of the atom. There are protons, the electrons, the neutrons, and the discovery. When was it discovered? Who discovered it? And all that. Please take note. And also the different atomic models is a very common question, both in physics also. For instance, the Thomson model, the Rutherford model, the electron cloud model, and to be sincere with you, the most common is the Rutherford model. So that's something like um, which model um, resembles the planet revolving around the sun, or which one is synonymous for the planet revolving around the sun. And it's I've given you an expo. This is the Rutherford model. So please take note of the different atomic models and the electrons, protons, and neutrons, and the discover uh, people that discovered them. Now let's quickly move to the next stop. Take note of um, chemical bonding, very important. Chemical combination is a very common question. Ionic bonding, um, covalent bonding, um, coordinate covalent bonding, uh, metallic bonding. Just take note of the properties. When does they apply? And, and no examples like H2O now, what kind of bonding does it exhibit? Is it um, hydrogen bonding and all that? Take note, it's a very common question. Then, please know how to solve questions on the gas laws. Very important. Gas laws is a very common. Like, I don't know if you ever write a jump exam without seeing question on the gas laws. Very important. Boyce law, Charles law, um, Avogadro's law, um, Graham's, Graham's law. They are, they are different. Now you must surely see questions on one of them. Please take note. Yeah, how to solve questions. How to convert from one temperature scale to another and all that. So those are the common questions you'll be solving. The general gas equation, ideal gas equation. So please take note of the gas law. The next one is acid base and salt. Acid base and salt, you'll see questions on acid base and salt. Chemical properties of physical properties of acid base and salt also. And also know soluble salts, insoluble salts, and all that. Please know the pH concept. How to solve questions on pH. Yeah, how to solve questions on pH. And also the different kind of indicators used to be used in titration. Please know them, the, the end point and everything. Also a fluorescence, hygroscopy, and um, the liquid sense. So please take note of the different substances that fall under these different three categories. Very important. Then the next topic to take note of is the periodic table. Yeah, please take note of the different groups, the period and everything. The different groups. We have different group, group one, group two, group three. Please take note of all of them. And also periodicity. Take note of does atomic radius increase down the group or decrease down the group? Or does it increase across the period or decrease across the period? Please take note. For instance, take note of ionic radius, atomic radius, electron affinity, ionization energy, and the rest. So take note if they decrease across the period, or they increase across the period, or if they increase across the group, or decrease, sorry, if they increase down the group, or increase down the group. Just take note of these different um, scenarios. Also know how to draw the electronic configuration. You have to write the electronic configuration of the different um, elements, usually the first 20 elements and the transition elements. And the next topic on our list is stoichiometry and volumetric analysis. Yeah, stoichiometry and volumetric analysis. This one cannot be overemphasized. You will see questions on stoichiometry. Know the different relationship between mass, volume, and uh, molar mass, and all of them. Just want to solve questions on them. And also volumetric analysis. Percentage composition, water crystallization of salt, and all of them. Just please take note of questions on that stoichiometry and volumetric analysis. You can never um, escape it in the hall. Next topic on our list is the redox reactions. Yeah, please um, take note on the different scenarios like when does re re reduction occur, when does oxidation occur. But take note that they occur in same 
reaction yeah but just that different elements will undergo different um either reduction or sedation yeah just taking of the different scenarios and the modern definition very important then also calculations based on the radius reaction like determine the division over of an element in a compound yeah it's a very common question you know the basic rules for determining the division number the next thing is electrolysis very important electrolysis the first law not the first law of electrolysis the second law of electrolysis and the calculations on both of them the next topic on our list is energetics energetics energy changes in chemical reactions yeah please take note of endothermic and endothermic reaction very common the um examples the reactions that undergo exothermic and endothermic reaction then take note of heat of reactions yeah the heat of mineralization heat of uh, combustion and all of them take note of the different heat of reaction and also its content enthalpy please take note of how to calculate questions on enthalpy entropy and gives free energy yeah combination of all of them please take note on different scenarios is a reaction spontaneous very common question is a reaction spontaneous or not yeah please take note on when spontaneity occurs the conditions are different conditions on when it occurs the next thing is the chemical kinetics rate of reaction yeah please take note on the factors affecting rate of reaction light concentration all of them please take note then also so the collision theory yeah take note of the collision theory let's quickly run um, the next topic on our list is um the chemical equilibrium take note um does temperature affect chemical equilibrium if yes does it shift to the left or does it shift to the right and does it shift to the forward reaction or the backward reaction take note temperature pressure um concentration catalyst and all of that do they affect a reaction in equilibrium take note and if they do does it affect them to the right or to the left <laughs> just take note of that and let me just even give you a simple example catalyst does not affect a chemical a reaction in chemical equilibrium that's a simple question you see it every day every time does not affect the reaction in chemical equilibrium the next topic on our list is air please take note of the composition of air the gases that make up air and also the air pollution taking of air pollution the next topic on our list is water solutions and solubility water solutions and solubility please take note of the difference between hard water and soft water very important the advantages and disadvantages of both of them then also take note of solutions colloids and um suspensions yeah the different um properties of all of them because they have different scenarios and all that especially colloids i saw it in my um in my exam also colloids an example of colloids and all that please take note of this talk then also know how to solve questions on solubility the calculations and solubility know how to solve them know the formulas different formulas to solving uh, questions on solubility very important then the next thing is shapes of molecules and solids yeah what's the shape of co2 what's the shape of h2 the board angle and all that yeah the next thing on our list is radioactivity please take note on the types of radiation types of radiation and also be able to differentiate between nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion yeah very important then lastly calculations on radioactivity very important yeah very important calculations on radioactivity you are going to see questions on radioactivity just like in physics you see questions on calculations in radioactivity i saw both in both physics and chemistry so please take note of it now we have critical topics now very critical topics non-metals non-metals please please and please for non-metals know the um laboratory preparation the industrial preparation the reactions and the uses please take note for for the i'll give you some non-metals to take note of course there are some non-metals that are not asked in your exam not asked in your exam at all for instance take note of hydrogen take note of chlorine take note of oxygen take note of carbon take note of nitrogen take note of sulfur you will see this in your exam you see this um once i've listed in your exam the uses the reactions chemical properties the laboratory preparation the fiscal properties the industrial preparation and all that please take note of everything under the stuff the next of our list is metals and their compounds i know many students usually have issues with this one also just like non-metals but please you have to you have to try your best um read um extraction the extraction processes the fiscal and chemical properties of the various compounds and their uses yeah please take note of this stuff and the common one that you read um phosphorus as opposed to potassium sodium magnesium calcium aluminium the group four elements like tin and lead then the transition elements are the common metals 
they're going to be tested yeah then the last but not the least the dreaded organic chemistry yeah you are going to see at least four questions on organic chemistry just read everything on organic chemistry do everything on organic chemistry uh you will be lucky you see eight questions they are lucky and you'll be happy <laughs> because organic chemistry will be a bonus for you so i know if people dread it in the spot organic chemistry must come out in your exam and it come out in different measures like in my exam they didn't just ask a uh, which compound has this organic sorry name this organic compound they ask, i'm not sure they asked me organic, name an organic compound in my exam they were asking me things like um, uh, detergent so they are organic chemistry even proteins carbohydrates they are structural and everything there are different questions you can see in organic chemistry familiarize yourself with it isomerizing just know everything in organic chemistry as much as possible you get because you can come from different years so they come out to you and say i didn't see questions on organic chemistry they lie there must be a question on organic chemistry just that you don't know there's organic chemistry for instance some, some people know that soap is not organic chemistry what soap being organic chemistry plastic rubber petroleum all those stuff they're all under organic chemistry please read organic chemistry you should have a vast knowledge on organic chemistry lastly um i'll show you on your screen these are all the topics in the jam slab so like i, I said in the, um, the physics video try to also get like have an, an idea on all the topics <laughs> just get a basic idea on all the topics so that in case questions come, come out from there also you are good to go so these are the topics i'm showing you on your screen currently and if you need a soft copy you can send a message from my whatsapp number showing on the screen also and also i did a video on physics if you have not watched it please go and watch it it's very important um i think the, chat, the tab is showing up here but can you check the description below i'll put the link directly to the video i know you found this video very helpful just let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comment section below and if you want me to do any um, special video like any topical video in any of these topics just also let me know in the comment section i'll be there to check out all the comments and lastly don't forget to share to all your friends writing down this year if you have not done that can leave the like button and subscribe to this channel try not to miss out on the next video and don't forget our slogan here keep reading till you become the book i remain the one and only dr jeremiah and i will see you in the next video